Yo, 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 welcome back. So we're going to have some fun with cluster. Basically, you give me a similar apartment to this one. Like we're basically actually grouping together apartments that are similar using machine learning or artificial intelligence. <laughs> you can do this using an algorithm without machine learning. Yeah, this is just cool to do it this way I think machine learning but you don't have to you can get pretty far by just doing like um, where apartment space is more or less uh, between what the space is of the apartment you're currently looking at and the price is more or less the same as well that would work as well and like the GPS coordinates are more or less the same it would probably be a lot simpler to do it that way we're gonna have fun now with machine learning so let's get started so cluster actually is in the documentation let's go there use a guide we're gonna go choosing an estimator we have classifiers for classification we got regressors and we got clusters and the one i'm gonna choose for this is k-means you can choose a different one this is the one i'm gonna choose we see there's a lot of parameters but we're only going to use the number of target clusters like how many clusters do you want that means in how many groups do you want to group together the apartments and the kernel like the distance measuring kernel all right let's get started um Cluster test. Come on. You don't want. Okay, there it is. Move this, this. So we're going to take the apartments. I'm going to first show you what the apartments look like. The apartments data looks like this. Okay, they have zone IDs, Geolat, Geolong, so GPS coordinates, they have water heating, like gas or no water heating, price level, they have gas network, they have balcony, parking, they have like a doorman actually, which is those, these values, 24 hours, yeah. This is what is in the data. So let's take the data. Oh, this is by the way, by the way this is eloquent, right? I don't have to explain that. You can do rare space. Less than 200. And probably limit. So it doesn't train forever. We're going to take 500 limit. Bigger than 20. We don't want to have trash apartments as little as possible. It's not good for training. So now we're going to train. Or are we? No, we're going to train without test because this is a cluster. We're not testing. We cannot test. There's nothing to test against. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Where's the guy? Classifier does classify. So cat or dog or regressor is going to... How much is the price? And clusters are... Are these apartments similar? Do you think these apartments are similar? Is what you ask. So this is... An unsupervised learner. So you cannot test. Animal detectors are unsupervised learners too. Whereas regression is supervised, so is classification. So for unsupervised, we do without testing. So I don't think it's the most common. 
So we don't have index with label, so we're gonna we hey we have name and parameters. Welcome estimator algorithm. We're gonna use k-means. k-means, and we have to give them a number of clusters. Let's give them five, you know, five groups. Actually, let's give them a little bit more groups. So this of one divided by six we want to have groups with have maximum six members let's let's give it ten and this me it doesn't mean that each group is gonna have ten members it's gonna have at max ten now we have to come on Kernel, I'm looking at this small thing here. Kernel is new Manhattan. Manhattan, obviously. Oh my god. Just imported. Okay, what is Manhattan distance? Do, 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 do. Where can we see it? I think I know where I can find it. You go to K means. There. Actually, in the API reference in kernels, distance. There's Manhattan. I chose this one. You can use a different one. Trick is we want to use continuous again. Ooh, but how comes continuous? Because there are strings in here. These are categories. Per default, we're going to use the one hot encoder which turns strings into numbers, basically arrays of numbers. Okay, and this is going to give us a report. No, this is not going to give us data with clusters. This is horrible, this presentation mode, no? Cannot see anything. Okay, and now I want to actually see CSV. This is a good way to look at it. So we can we just put it out into a CSV. Come on, let me out. <clears throat> so I added this convenience method to put out things into CSV to just look at things, which is basically a often like a sanity check to test test unit and cluster come on okay, cluster there you go this is gonna take a while because we're one hot encoding that means we're turning these strings that are in here into arrays and that expands the number of features we have we just have a few i don't know 12 or something here but once we add the one hot encoding like each each zone becomes a new entrance in the a new column in the matrix yeah which slows everything down it should be done yet 11 seconds for 500 okay I think it's this one it outputs it into storage area over there already opened one let's open one again so here we have the cluster number is, is the thing that i add so now you can look at it and say well it's not so bad the thing actually i'm fairly happy with this like one has one less room somehow like usually i wouldn't expect file but i think it's it's very cheap tool there's a can happen that you you're gonna have some little bit weird data once in a while in the clusters like this is half the price of another house uh, apartment this is 1.2 and this is 2.5 there's like three rooms in one room so this is not good i'm not happy with this but it works you can then just you know you can just take this and 
Well, that's a big cluster, dude. I thought they cannot have more than 10. <laughs> Was I telling lies to you? Uh, I think, yes, I think it's, it's 10 clusters. That's more than that. Okay, okay, I, I realized what is my problem with thinking. So I was doing size of basically 500, right? Divided by 10 is 50, so it creates around 50 clusters. Yeah, that's what it was going for with cluster number zero. And the goal was to have 10, that, like the thinking was you can have 10 per cluster this way. Which is not what, what it's doing. All right. So let's let's actually have a look at the big one, the eight. What's going on there? Let's make it bigger for you. Looks fairly similar. It's actually all in the same neighborhood except these few it's looking at rooms like this from one to three so I don't like this I don't like that all are need to be in the same neighborhood even though you can argue that's fine but I think it's a result of the one hot encoder doing something to the data that the algorithm thinks it's way more important to be in the same apartment than to have the same number of rooms, for example, or to have the more or less the same price. Because the one hot encoder creates so many columns that it, it totally overtakes everything else. The same with you know gas and it's almost all the same except this one. Huh? So what can we do about it? We can expand the, the data set or actually it's called feature engineering. So we're actually gonna hand, ha hand hold the data a little bit. And basically we're gonna remove the, the categorical values like these. And we're gonna turn them into continuous values. We're gonna, like these can be replaced by GPS location. So that's one thing. Then these can be turned into one and zero. One, zero, and this is zero, like no. This is diurna, which is half day during the day. So this is, this is zero, this is 0 0.5, and this is one. And this is just gonna be zero. I mean, almost never seen that. And once we did that, we we go from there okay i'm gonna prepare this for you so there we are so i created instead of going like apartments where space less than 2000 stuff like that we got this i'm actually gonna adjust this quickly let me try 500 so it doesn't train forever water heating no is zero gas is one electric 0 0.5 the same here then we, at the end, we unset like the, the zone, the string zones. We just use the GPS coordinates. And the, the good part is we give more weight to the rooms by creating new entries, yeah? For rooms, basically just rooms times rooms. We is a teacher engineering, yeah? So we multiply the rooms by the rooms the price by price, price by price by price, price by rooms. This way, the algorithm can learn a little bit that there's a relationship between each other. If there is one, and as well with the GPS coordinates and with each other. <clears throat> so I just played around with this a little bit and I thought like the results are okay this way. So it gives more value to the rooms and whatnot. So let's run it.
And let's reopen the CSV file. So you see the, the new columns that I created, which are like, give more weight to rooms, price, price and rooms, price and GPS, GPS. Because I think like you can always think about parking or, well, I'm not so sure about water heating, but um, maybe balcony. At least those are important in my opinion. There's GPS location, price, etc. Okay, so let's look how we clustered it. Let's go for a big cluster. 15. So we see the rooms are all three now. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. We didn't want to have different rooms, uh, like three and one, etc. The price, 1.5 was the lowest one. So it's fairly low in my opinion, 1.5. So we could spam even more features with price to get it closer. Should we do that to have some fun? We already did something here. Huh? Let's see if it is better this time. Let's close this while this builds so we can reopen it. So we reopen. Let's see. You can see there's more features PP, PP4, and PP5. Okay, 15 is big again. Let's have a look at this one. Well, you don't have this one, 1 million anymore. You have 1.4 million, 0.37, which is still not what I really want. And uh, did we have like a big one? 2.5 is, but it's a little bit better. You can probably spam more money or money with something else. And it would probably train the, to cluster them closer together yeah but i think this is fairly good let's look at diff different cluster that's just a big one 0 0.8 yeah it's not so bad there's rooms is two or one <clears throat> but it's it helps you um to find similar apartments this way okay and what you would not usually do at this point is you would then iterate over those and actually assign the cluster to a database column in your Laravel app. And then when you once you want to show similar apartments, you look in what cluster it is, and then you select the best matches from the similar apartments. All right, enough. Enough clusters, okay? <laughs> See you later, my dudes.